Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where I was hunting for leather. It turns out I don't need the soft leather. But while I was doing that, I may have found another stone circle. Um, which was close... Or there's also one near... Um, what? Oh, please. Let me work. Let me do it. No? Okay, it's fine. I'm like mega behind on all of it. So, no big deal. I was gonna try to up my breastplate, but I ended up not being able to do that. But um, for now, I'm just gonna run around trying to get the last of these uh, stone circles. I don't even know if I've gotten all of them. Like, I have a little. Oopsie. I wasn't even looking. I have a little walkthrough to tell me how many. There's 12 of them. And I may have done like five, so. I'm a little bit behind. You know what? Here, thank you. You're the best. You're the best. I'm afraid I must borrow this. You're the best. I wonder if that's a thing like in their programming, like if they see me floating like swimming through the water, if like the boats just kind of come towards me. Just to make life easier for you as a player. That'd be interesting. Uh okay, hey rock. But we should be fine. Yes, I did find a stone circle. Oh wow. This is an interesting one. Like Almost completely swallowed by the water. We're not gonna get a little story. Papo, ah. why do people die? We are not gods. Everything must die. It is what Amun has ordained for us. Will we be together in the afterlife? Be brave and strong. Fight for justice. Do not lie. This is all anyone can do. Ma'at will decide if we are worthy to walk together in a field of reeds. I'm sure you will, though. Your car is good. Mm, almost kind of looks like this one, but I don't think so. Pisces, the two fish. Ah! Joined by the thread of this life. They are forever balanced between the afterlife and the underworld. I don't think this is it. Oh, there's the crab. Oh, okay, it's telling me. by like was this constellation influenced by the Greeks or you know was it like sort of an original one that they had my boy my son oh we did it does it? Ooh, I'm level 32. Also, oh, nice. Does it have? Oh, it does. Ah, oh, 69. Nice. Nice. Let's see. These should. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, God. What order are they in? They're in order of. Oh crap. Uh, they're in order that I did them. I wish they were like in order of how oh but it's not even this, it doesn't count as a completed quest is what I've what I've been doing doesn't count as a completed quest oh that's a bummer at least that's what I'm going to assume I hope none are in the areas I haven't been that would be a bummer 
Okay, so I've gone through, and it turns out I'm actually missing seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm missing seven. So I've found, some of them are, a couple of them are in areas I haven't looked at, like the White Desert, and there's one or two in this Katara Depression. But for now, I'm going to run around, and I'm going to pick up uh, these uh, astronomy things. These stone circles. Because I would like to get that done before I do anything else. And maybe get the legendary outfit? I don't know. I know it involves more than that to get the, to get the whole thing. So. so, we're close enough to have triggered it. Um, but on the way here, it was really interesting. We saw, I saw anyway, a, um, they were actively building a monument. So they had like people pulling the blocks and stuff. It was really cool. It's like kind of showing you how they used to do it back when they didn't have like machines, right? Because Egypt, one of the reasons people were so fascinated with Egypt is because like all these crazy monuments that nobody could see how they built with their with their supposed inferior technology. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I think this is Papa. It. Oh no, okay. What is best in life? To seek justice and truth, to live with honor, to protect the weak and the poor, and to love your mother. My it friend Kenan said it was to crush our enemies and to hear the lamentations of their women. Wow, bad friends. We are Magi, son, not barbarians. Maybe need to Apis, make, the bull god. Make some more friends. He is the strength of the pharaoh. Each year, he is born as a calf with special markings. The pharaoh finds this calf and worships it. I think it's showing the ones that I've already done, which is cool. This one? This one. Apis. The bull. Done that one. I like these a lot. They're cool. Like just for the little stories and like hearing like about the bull, like hearing hearing the little things about them that I didn't know. About the various gods and whatnot. Oh, I'm seeing more of that uh Like, what's it called? Oh, rebels! No, man, I'm busy. The uh, the mirage, the illusion. This was a really terrible place. This is where people, all the people, all those people were crucified. Passed by all that. I was like, oh yeah, that exists. But this next one is way out in a corner that I've never visited. So I'm running all the way to here, and then it'll be like another 700 meters past that. Whoa. heard that snake. Sometimes I feel like there's just snake sounds just for to have snake sounds, but out here I wouldn't doubt it being an actual snake. This seems like it was supposed to be guarded and is no longer. All the money I can get if I want to level up my awesome, cool things. <laughs> we spot a rebel activity in every direction. It's only a matter of time before they converge on us. We're abandoning camp for now. Whatever we couldn't carry is stashed behind the stairs. The rebels will never find it. They can't even read this note. Uh, what language did you think they were... I mean, unless you're writing in... Uh, Greek. In which case, you underestimate me, so, madame. <laughs> I'm multilingual. I assume. I can at least understand Greek, and I can definitely speak Egyptian. 
and read it. But yeah, that place, this place is a terrible place. Where are we at? I forget. Like, isolated desert, or... Yeah, isolated desert. Really terrible place. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah, there it is. So now we've got... I, I think it's that one. It might be that one. I don't know what these two things are, but... We're gonna find out! <sighs> Oh, here's the sneaky hiding place. Oh, wow. Nice. I think I prefer my sword and, uh, if not, but... The more weapons I get that are good, the more money I'll have eventually. Oh, there it is again. The Mirage. Going... East? It's not going, it's like going, it's actually going north more than anything else. A little northeast maybe. Well, we're on our way! Sort of, we'll get there. I keep hearing my, that heartbeat sound. I just got attacked by a, by a, by like a lion, by the way, or a jaguar. And it took most of my health. Are you just... Oh, it's a goat. So we take a little, we took a long way, but this is cool. Also, that uh, those runes up there had bodies, people that were hung by their thumbs and killed that way, slowly suffocate. That's how you suffocate. That's basically how um, crucifixion works. Is it slowly compresses your lungs and makes the blood drain and suffocates you. So that place is not good, not a good place. But I ran, I ran right through it. I think maybe I went, I might have gone around it a little bit. But I went under an archway that I thought was going to be connected with it, and I was like, "Game, why do you, why are you doing this to me?" But turns out the only person who got attacked or I got angry was a jaguar thing, and uh, yeah, that was it. And then it took down like most of my health. So I was like, ha, ha, ha. "But this is cool. It's not often we get to ride in the canyons." I've gotta admit, this is gonna be kinda nice, just wander around. Just knowing that I'm gonna be editing out some of these things, you know. Oh, this is probably... This isn't the... The thing, but... It's... <gasps> People are unhappy. Ooh, my wind just blew the tomb of the nomads. Talk to you? No? What's this about? Ooh, a tomb, you guys! A tomb! Of the- Who are these people, though? Is it gonna... Find the ancient temple? So, there's a nomadic people wandering around who don't have... Ah! I'm sorry, who don't have the same burial practices as the, like, city Egyptians? And they... but they will make, like, pilgrimages every so often here, I assume? To bury their dead? They're only using wooden coffins, though, that's, that's not, that's not gonna smell nice. Oh! Right there. Okay. Christy. I wasn't gonna loot the graves, but if, if the, I thought the crystals would be lit, lit up in gold, but apparently they're not. So that makes sense why people are sad, though. Like, not, it's not like something terrible has happened, and they're doing really beautiful things with the, like, with all these flowers and stuff, probably out of necessity, too, because, again, wooden boxes aren't gonna hold the stench dead bodies. Sealed by order of the high priest Bakken Kosu. All who seek to plunder churches and desecrate its holiest of holies will shrivel before the burning eyes of the sun god. Curses. Always a popular way of doing things. Hmm. So 
some of these bodies didn't get put away like they were supposed to. Wow, this place is extensive. Are you telling me you guys buried people underwater? Oh, wow. Oh, neat. Look at those skulls. Like, all piled up in, like... This is an old way of doing things. Oh, a man and a woman? They just died here. Holding uh, precious memories. I really don't want to dive into the water of places where bodies aren't properly disposed of necessarily but dang this was a way people used to do it like you you didn't i guess you'd enter the dead let them rot for a certain or like let, let all the flesh everything go away and then you'd, you'd unbury them and you would uh, take their bones and like do stuff like this with them um and it was a way sort of of cons i think it was a way of like conserving um space sort of <laughs> like eventually you unbury them to make room for other bodies, but you still afford respect to the ones that, you know, died before. I saw... I thought it was like... Oh, there it is. This is kinda yucky. Yeah, wow. Oh, but it's also been flooded, so it didn't used to be... Holy cow. It didn't used to be like this. Terrible curse. As for every man who shall. I'm still, I can't breathe. As for every man who shall take his offerings from this tomb. Oh no, come back. No. Alright, bye. We're gonna have to breathe fast. His neck shall be twisted off like that of a bird. His office shall not exist. The position of his son shall not exist. House shall not exist. God wants a bread. Flesh shall belong to the fire. Children shall belong to the fire. I shall be against him as a crocodile in the water, as a serpent of the earth, as an enemy in this necropolis. Nice. I did pass a necropolis earlier that I really wanted to go into but I was trying to do other things. I really, I wanna visit all the tombs, that's what I wanna do. All the tombs. Okay, crystal, crystal. Yep, I'm swimming through nasty water. Okay, oh, the tablet. Interesting. Ancient Don't. writing from the old kingdom. This first time we found one underwater. Interesting. I just want the crystal things, that's all, because they're useful. Um, and you guys have just kind of tossed them in, so hopefully no hard feelings. Tee hee. Wow, there's a bunch. Hopefully there's a way out under here. Oh shoot, I'm also taking things I shouldn't. Oh yes. Oh, well, tell me more about this tomb. I want to know more about the tomb. Maybe I'll have to go through the other side and see if I miss... Oh, no, this is just popped me out. Okay. Okay. Was this connected, then? Nope. Okay, we still have that over there. Although, technically, I should be getting credit for being in a new area. Oh, shoot! Oh, uh, wow. It looks like they were attacked by animals, I guess. They're like partially eaten. They're not rendered super well, but that's okay. That's probably the fault of my own computer. Uh, why? Why are you guys like, did you get attacked and eaten? Or, I mean, they had like basic fortifications the up. And the sound with it. Shh, don't come out. I'm busy trying to figure out why these people died. Let's see. Well, they have a working dog with them. Yes, I saw that. Interesting. Sometimes you don't get clues as to why these sorts of things exist, like why all of a sudden you find dead bodies, but I do enjoy it when games are like, hey man, take a gander and guess, and that didn't look like necessarily Whoa. i mean maybe they were killed by like bandits and then eaten you know out here anything's possible these are very desolate areas Whoa. yeah i feel like it's gonna 
My Chocobo's like, no. Okay. Oh, you could have taken me up here, Chocobo. It's sand. It's difficult to run in. Look at I'm slowing down. Going uphill in the sand. Interesting. Chocobo, get back here. You're much faster. You're designed. You're camel toe Chocobo. You're designed to run up sand. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Ooh. This is this like another like nomadic place? I mean, you don't usually, they don't Whoa. usually build things. Holy. It's like nomads don't generally build like uh, places Whoa. that they like hang out. He got impaled, he got shoved back and impaled and I'm pretty sure that's a Ptolemaic soldier. Oh, is that a... Uh, okay. Uh, wow. It looks like, and there's a lot of rebel activity and stuff out here, so it's probably the rebels, like, uh, people are terrible to each other. I mean, I get it, right? Terrible things were done to you and your people, but you don't have to be the monsters, you know? You gotta be, I don't know, it's, it's easy enough to say, be the better person, but, but then, the you know, but when it's your family that was, you know, raped and killed. You want them to suffer. So. It's easy enough to be, like, you know, morally like, Oh, why weren't you guys the better people? When it's not you suffering. Per se. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they even knew the significance of this area where they'd set up, like, where the Ptolemaic soldiers had set up. They even built stairs. Either that or they took over a previously occupied area that had stairs in it. That's also a possibility. I think this is the, the goat fish? I could be wrong. I didn't remember. Goat fish. Goat fish. Nope. Not you. Hey. You talk to this girl you like. I didn't say I liked her. We were friends, but she's being strange and avoiding me. Maybe because she likes you too. Mm. We often do not say what we mean. It will come to you in bursts. Why would she avoid me if she likes me? Because people are weird. This is something your mother should explain. I am better with the stars. The goldfish. Called Capricornus by the Greeks. The god has the head of a ram and the body of a fish. You see? Even the gods do not always make sense. This might be it. Creative. The goldfish. At least it's not the body of a goat with the head of a fish, you know? That would be weird. This is cool. I like running around doing this and finding other areas that I haven't really seen yet. I'm being attacked, but look, found some awesome rock art. I didn't realize Egyptians uh, did like uh, pictographs. I mean, it makes sense, like, but like not on just the, like not just on tombs, but on like rock out in the wilderness. <laughs> what have I discovered? Oh, I just was full of energy. I found. I'm just trying to get up to this uh, fast travel point. And I was trying to escape that guy. Look! There's some more. I think. Oh, nope. I missed. I missed it. Oh, but I uh, 
Looks like they're cool. That fast travel point and the stone circle are right close to each other. Don't mess with me, vultures. I don't got time for you. That is Horus, the Falcon, the Great Black One, God of the Sky. The sun is his right eye, and the moon is his left eye. Wherever he flies across the heavens, making night and day. The eye of Horus is what the Magi wear? Yes, Remu. And the Pharaoh is Horus, right? Yes, my son. The Pharaoh is Horus in life, and Osiris in death. That is why the Pharaoh rules not only Egypt, but the whole world. Only a true Pharaoh, though. Oh, ho. Oh. Then the fighting words. Oh, I, well, usually I have it found by now, but not this time. Hehe. <laughs> Most of these look too complicated. Very There we did it. Only Osiris, Tawat, Great Twins, and the Scales left. The Scales are Libra. That's my sign. I'm gonna guess anyway. This one's unfortunate. This one's gonna take a long time to get to. I've not been. It's somewhere in here. I haven't been there. Whoa. Oh, this is a view. Wow. Very nice. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh. Your region discovered as my camel complains heartily about being forced to Whoa. jump off cliffs. I don't blame you. I see what might be a building off in the distance. I'm gonna say there's no wonder there's no uh, fast travel points here. It's just a big open deflated dune area. Wait. Hey. <gasps> oh no, no, I thought Stop you were a mirage. Man. I thought you were a mirage. No, I thought you were a mirage. each other I'm too young to be in this area but here I am nonetheless the area I picked is actually a really rough guesstimate of where it says it is on the map aha golden question mark has appeared I was about right Osiris was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother, who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, Iset, searched and found all the pieces except one. Nah. What happened to the other piece? Yeah. It was eaten by a fish. It was his... Uh, <laughs> so Osiris was resurrected and became lord of the underworld. Oh. So we could yeah. not <laughs> smart. Yeah. Smart camel. You are growing up far too quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was indeed a very important reproductive organ that Osiris. Osiris, the father of gods, brother of Set, who murdered him. It is said that Iset's tears for her beloved husband created denial. Take care of the dead bodies if I don't. They don't want them lying around. I wonder if I could actually see them picking it up, or if that's just to explain that when I come back to an area where I've killed people, 
there's no bodies because the code can't afford to have those dead bodies laying around and clogging it up, you know? Like clogging up the streets or clogging up the code. Found the Tolleret. <laughs> also starting to get subsumed by water. The Nile was very up and down, <laughs> like literally. Papo, do you think I'll have many children? Oh. Hey, I hope you give your mother and I many grandchildren. I'll have to find a wife then. You are young, my son. There's no reason to rush. I won't rush. But what if I already know? We need to learn how to be a Magi first. You need to get a job first, my son. We haven't talked about... Oh, tower yeah. end. The hippopotamus who walks. Lady of the birth house. She is the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Mistress of the horizon. She brings with her the yearly flood of Ar. certainly creative I kind of don't know why they just didn't have another I mean I, I I know why they didn't they probably didn't want to like feel like they were replacing their son because it's not you know he was like their most important child or what you know because he was their only child you know like I mean I get it but it's like and then they got like you know ob obsessed with this you know vengeance quest thing so I get it but still it's like just have another child and there's some I mean it doesn't replace it but like I don't know I, I could see why they would but still it's like if you like kids have another one but still it's like you can never replace the one you lost right I actually can't tell it looks like it might actually be in between the H and the I here somewhere near a fast travel point, so eventually I'll get there. A White Desert Oasis. I can see why it's called that, except not the oasis part. Except I did see on the map, it was very, very dark, so it's hard to see, but there is an oasis basically where I'm headed, so... At least there's water. Yep, there we go. Interesting. Right there. Looks like it was once farmland, maybe? No longer. There's like bandits or something right there. I don't care. I'm just here for some astronomy. My, my chip bubble kicked me off. Papa, you know how you're Egyptian? A mother is Greek. I knew it! What if Egypt and Greece go to war? Greeks and Egyptians do not hate each other. We are all the same. It feels like they do. A priest in the temple school said Greeks were destroying Egypt. He was wrong to say that. There is good and bad in everyone. You are the child of both Egypt and Greece. You are proof they do not hate each other. She did not look Greek, though. But her cousin very much looked Greek. That's why ah, I was like, hmm. The great twins. To the Greeks, they are twin brothers. To Egyptians, they are he gods that rise from the underworld, bringing pestilence and protection. Even the gods have two sides. Each, each little, like, he teaches his son a little lesson each time, you know, that, like, involves, like, his son's real life, you know? <laughs> terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But cute, too. Cute and terrifying. What are kids if not cute and terrifying? This one brings protection. This one brings the plague. It's fine. You can't have one without the other. There's the last one. Right close to a place I've been. How convenient. 
attempted to ambush me back there too. I went through this kind of narrow place and they're like, now! Nah! And they tried to jump on me, but uh, my camel is too fast. Too fast, too furious. Those are the scales called Gonsu. When we die, the goddess Ma'at oh, yeah. lays our hearts on them against her white feather. I remember this. If our hearts appear in light, we walk in the field of reeds. Very good. You were listening. The scales measure truth and justice, which is why Medjai pursue these two things above all others. I'm gonna make myself sick. It said move left, but now I have no idea. Let's see, to the left of Hathor? I think this is Hathor. Aha, here we go. Very faint, maybe? My aunt. My edge weighs your weighs your your heart against a feather. And if you're found wanting, you get to go to the unhappy place. I don't know anybody who dies with their heart feeling light as a feather though, you know? There's always regrets and things we wish we hadn't done, but maybe that maybe that doesn't weigh you down. It's just supposed to be like the bad things you've done. Achievement! I can take all the shards back to Siwa now. Yeah! Wait, I gotta go back to Siwa and do it? Okay. Um, uh, actually, I got, oh, I wanna do it really bad. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Cause uh, I've been going for over an hour, but <laughs> Hopefully this recording isn't too long. I don't know, that, that, that foray into the Tomb of the Nomads may have made things uh, take too long. I've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes or so. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna finish this whole like hunting down everything, but I do kinda wanna draw the hunting for the stone circles to a close. I think there's more to do after this though including after whatever this is. I didn't. I thought we were going to have to go to the Sphinx. Because whatever we're doing has something to do with what's under the Sphinx. I know Doggy, my dog, is like wants to go out. Give me a minute. The first circle that we... Supposedly the first one we were supposed to find, but I think it was the second one I technically found. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My boy. My son. Oh my gosh. Your name, Hemu, means Egypt. And like Egypt, you are forever changed. Oh my gosh. Stars are yours now. And your place is with them. <sighs> well, that was certainly something. That was really moving. I know, I don't know. It's like, I, what they do such a good job in this game of doing is is not like beating you over the head with your son's death. Like it's mentioned, but it, doesn't, it never feels like it's like, like, I don't know, I keep thinking of uh, Watch Dogs where that guy was, like, obsessed with the fact that his niece died and he was, like, but he, like, n I don't know, he, like, never got over it even though, like, the mother did and, like, I don't know, it was just really weird. It was weirdly handled. But in this, it's, like, what they do it, with these little throwbacks, too, is that, like, it shows you, like, how much potential he had. And that's, like, one of the worst things when a child dies is, like, they're, they, they lose all that potential, right? For, like, everything they wanted to do in the world and, like, Kemu wanted to be wanted to be his father and like wanted to travel and learn and protect people and fall in love and he never got the chance to do any of that and like just the way that they like put it through the game 
in these little tiny things reminds you of that. And that's what's so poignant about his loss. Like, one of the most poignant things about his loss is that all the things he could have been that he can no longer be, you know? So... Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me for this. Hopefully it's not too long. If it is, thank you for sticking around. Uh, after this, I'm not. I'm actually not sure. I thought this was part of a uh, of a very important outfit, but it might not be. I'll have to check later. But um, thank you all again so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.